Hello everybody, this is going to be Caliente. We are continuing to play Ori in the Blind Forest. This is part two of Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, in the in the part in the first part, we played basically the prologue of the game. Um, just laying out the story of it. As I mentioned, beautiful story. <clears throat> so I saved the game here and um, we're basically gonna continue. Um, oh, look at that down here. It shows us. Um, yeah, move this with this. And this is um, a keystone um, used to open a gate. So uh, you find keystone some some of the gates doors would use um four or two um i believe since we're starting out we're gonna probably use one uh one set which is two two parts okay, here's a second i go back and um, I played I played this game before when it came out, so I kind of remember some some things. Is this thing? Wow. Yeah, basically letting me know about the keystones. I was ahead of it. And found the keystones before I even got to the door. All right. More enemies. Um. Oh. Yeah. More jumping spiders. Uh, let me see, I think it tells me. <clears throat> so to the left uh, is the spirit caverns and the hollow crew is this. I don't know. We're just gonna see what's up here. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. That's a shard, as we found out. So I have now four life shards. Um, live cells. Uh, uh, uh. So let's find out what's to the right. Oh, energy shard is um, some of the blue ones. So the same way that I found a live cell, you know, to increase my 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 little shards down there, I can find blue ones. Um, but to in order in order to open this, I have to find an ability that allows the that little spirit thing. The spirit. Oh my God! The enemies come back. Doesn't matter if you kill them. If you pass through there again, the enemies are there again. There's another spider down here. That's what it looks like. I like. Jumping spider or something. So we're gonna go to the left. To the caverns. Okay. Alright. So it looks like we can get down here. Should we get down here? Well. We don't have a map. Yet. So back there we saved the game. So let's get down here. And well, I don't know. I think man, it's dangerous stuff. Uh, let's explore what's what's down here. Alright, what about 
here. So looking at the map, we don't have the whole map, so it's gonna it's only gonna show us what we have discovered so far. So I guess we're gonna continue since we don't have um we have not found the map. So there's more stuff here. Okay, I think this is a way to go. I th if I remember correctly, I there's an ability to be found. Hmm, but what about here? Ah. So in this. Um, rounded rocks once we found like a map a piece of the map we can place it here and it will show us we don't have one but we we have found one um keystone to open the door though so that's good so we're gonna continue to the left i think if i remember correctly there's an ability to be found coming down here Yes. So we're gonna continue going down and destroying things. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that we got an ability point. To be selected once we save the game now um, there were those that turned to hope when she ravaged and killed who was she a uh, spirit tree is what these are called Ancestral trees have light inside or something. So press X to absorb the light. So we got a new ability wall jump. All right. So this means I can. I ride the, you know, just jump on walls now. That's cool. And this is what I was talking about. I found an energy cell. Now I have two blue ones. And the green ones are for life. So I got wall jump. So now I can, you know, oh. Did you see that? Was too um, caught up by wall jumping. Wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Shoot people. Okay, so once we get out of here, I think we should be able to save the game. Alright. So, now that I have wall jump. Oh, look at that. There is a map um, thing on the top right over there. That I could, oh man, take it easy. Oh, who is that? Oh man. Okay, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna save the game here, and we're gonna work this stone. Right. So is this basically to help me jump over there? Found some more hidden stuff. Okay. So this, I remember. Yeah, I can get in the, in between them, and I don't get hit. All the way, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We can stop here and continue. 
Okay, so I use this stone so I can jump over here. Otherwise, I would not have been able to do it. I found another keystone. I think there's a door coming that I, we have not seen yet. But we're picking up the, the keystones to open it. So that's cool. Hold. Uh, oh, there's a lever here. Ah. That's for us to get the map thing. case so the map stone fragment is what they call it so if I remember correctly that map we saw it um, down here right there it is so you press X to put that in there we go we have the map for the places that we can go. There's nothing down here. Okay. So we press. See the map. Okay. So that brown looking thing. That's fear. That's um, where I need to go. Ultimately. So. Um, this is where we started. And we have explored all this. And we need to go over there. So, alright. So, we came down here. Um, let me see if I'm not leaving anything. So, that's where the thing was. So, I need to go back and up. I need to go back here. And now that we have wall jump, we can go back up here and continue the journey. Oh, here's a door that we needed to open. So the two fragments, the two stones that we found is to open this door. So we're making progress. So now that we um, are here, just to be safe, because if I die, then it will return me back to to the last point I saved. So just to be safe, I will um, save here, just in case. All right, just jumping over stuff, and we found our first keystone. Looks like there's another door. One of those doors coming. Ah, oh, another piece. That let it hit you. Oh, there it is. It was going so well. All right. So, yep. Mm, this is a different type of door. Energy gates. Okay, I remember this. So. If you have, you see I have one blue, I need to have like fine in order to open this door, like one, two, three, four, five of those. So it's a door that we'll probably be coming back to. So that's not the door for which the keystones we're finding is for. Um, let me see. Oh, that was bad. Okay, so. I believe there are more keystones. Oh, there is one down here. We got it. Wall jumping is so fun. <laughs> There's another one here. How many is that? Four. A door. Ah, uh, a four keystone door. Here's the door, and we opened it. Great. So did we reach our destination? Oh, look at that, we reached. Oh. 
Somebody they found me, doorman and still. Oh, so poetic. Who told Ori the tale of her misguided will? Who is she? I don't know. I don't know yet. Is this okay? Something's happening. Oh, the spirit tree used his last of his, the last of his strength to to save Ori. Wow. Come and hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was her light that she hated. Hmm, she. I believe he's referring to to the owl. It's a big owl that I remember fighting. There she is. So the owl stole something. Sign, they call it. Okay. So there, are, there's different elements. The element of waters. The element of winds. The element of warmth or fire. So we have, this is our mission, to rekindle the light before it's too late. Okay, Hollow Groove, that's our next destination. I gotta find the gizmo tree. Oh, can save the game here. Before we continue, what is up here? What is this? Ah, oh, I need to unlock that ability with the spirit light before we can open those types of doors. So we're gonna wrap it up here for part two. Um, join us for part um, three coming up soon. Um, it's getting interesting now. We gotta we got more objectives, more things to do in the game. We gotta find the gizmo uh, tree, <laughs> so that's going that's going to be fun. We're gonna be doing that in part three of Ori in the Blind Forest, which has been caliente. <laughs> <laughs>